What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have sort of a DIY setup for you guys. I'm doing a touch-up paint kit from Nissan. I have a very small chip on my fender in the uh, driver's side here and I'd like to see if this will maybe take care of it. Um, I notice it, a lot of people don't, but uh, either way it's bothering me so we're going to try and repair it using this $20 to $25 kit depending where you buy it. The dealership sells it for $25, Amazon has it for $18, bucks. you can't beat that. So. Let's go ahead and try this uh, three-step process and we're gonna go over one by one and see what kind of results we yield. So here's what we're gonna be working on today. Um, this looks like it's starting to rust already, get some surface rust on there. Before I dropped this car off to the dealership, uh, it was there for 30 days actually. It was just a scratch from me using a torque wrench on these wheels. So um, looks like that's turned into a bigger problem. So we're gonna try and get this off. Um, the pen has a three-step uh, uh, three step setting on it, I believe or three different parts that it comes apart on it. Um, one is to get the surface rust off and really clean the area and prep it for paint. The second is the paint, and third is the clear coat. So let's go ahead and get started with the uh, first step and get anything off that surface area. So I just unboxed this um, pen. This is what it looks like. Um, and on the back of the box, you're gonna see that the top rough tip is gonna be the rough surface area that you're gonna be able to use to clean anything on the, uh, on the chipped area. And then there's a brush inside of it with your paint coat, this is uh, K23 for silver. And then the bottom one is gonna have your clear coat. Kinda hard to see, but this is what the pack is gonna look like. And this is what the pen looks like. Um, let's give it a try. I've never done this before, so hopefully the results are good. That's working pretty good. Um, removing the little surface rust considerably, so can't complain. There it goes. Alright, so there we kind of got most of the surface rust area off and um, it cleaned up any loose paint as well. So hopefully the, the next step will take care of the chip, make it look a lot better. This is the painting process where we get to take out the um, paintbrush out of here and use it on that spot. So don't judge me, I hate painting, especially areas this small, but I will certainly do my best for you guys in this video. Real quick, before you guys begin to use the paintbrush, make sure you shake it for about a minute to get the paint nice and loose and be able to use it for the next step. All right, so now that we have our paint nice and loose, let's go ahead and give it a try and get this painted. Now, use very fine strokes when you do use the brush. Like I said guys, don't judge me, I'm a terrible painter, but hopefully I can clean up that area as much as as much as I can. There we go, there's a little smidge on, on the uh, actual paint there. We're going to wait about five minutes and then um, see if we need to give it another coat, but uh, I'm sure we will. I just put like a very light coat across to see how it looks like, but uh, overall it blends in a whole lot better than that rust spot, so uh, can't wait to see the finished results. So this is exactly what it looks like after just one coat. I'm kind of interested to see what the finished product is going to look like, but that's a whole lot better already than the rust spot. And the, um, I hope the camera is really doing this justice because it actually looks really good, like it's filling in the uh, chip paint. And I apologize, my neighbors are making a whole lot of noise outside right now, but um, yeah, let's wait for it to dry out and we'll give it a quick coat. All right guys, hopefully you can see there, there is the second coat applied and it's drying right now. It looks kind of bumpy, not like a professional um, paint job, but more than more, more most important, we're um, taking that rust out of there, keeping it from spreading, and just touching up the spot, which is a touch-up paint kit for 15, 20 bucks. I really can't be mad for this this kind of result. So um, let's give it the clear coat and see what the final result is like. All right, everyone, and these are the final results. Um, I can hardly see it from the camera, so hopefully you guys can maybe see something different in the video. But um, it looks pretty good to me. Um, from a distance, I can't hardly tell anymore that it's there. Obviously, you have to get really up close to see um, the little bumpiness from the brush. But other than that, um, I'll take it over what it was before. Uh, I think for $18, $20, I know I keep changing the price, but um, I found a lot of different prices online for this product. You can find it between $15 and $20, depending eBay, Amazon, um, or just Google search it. Um, you just gotta find your pin code, which you all should be able to find on your car, right in here. Um, on your door sticker, mine is K23, it's going to be in the left corner there. Um, and I do have an extra one, so if any of you guys have a, I'm not sure what kind of color code this is, but looks like a SDQAC. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> it's some kind of white color. If any of you guys have this paint code, um, just DM me 
and I can ship it to you, but I definitely don't know how I ordered this one incorrectly, but let me know. And uh, I'm glad I bought this. Uh, I can get rid of that little eyesore for me. I feel a whole lot better about it, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. As usual, if you enjoy watching the channel, go ahead and give it a subscribe, like the video. Thanks for watching.